Hey guys, this is uh, my review of Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is a game set in Chicago where you hack to get your way through to figure out what happened, who killed your aunt, I mean not your aunt, your niece, aka um, Annie Pierce or something like that. I forgot what her name was. But anyways, you encounter challenges like this where you go and you fight off gangs, just like Lucky Quinn's gang, which you're gonna figure out if you ever play the game. You also can disrupt the enemy's comms, and you can also run away from the cops. And you can also hack into cameras, which will also let you find targets like this. For instance, this is a mission, this is a gang hideout mission. Gang out hideout missions can be triggered by going through your map. Your map is a big freaking world. There's three worlds in this game. There's Pawnee, there's the city of Chicago, which is the big buildings, and then there's the modern day city area of Illinois. It Anyways, let's go to the character. Your character is Aiden Pierce. He goes through a tough trial of trying to figure out who and what killed his niece. And he also goes through struggles with his sister, which is Nikki Pierce. Nikki Pierce is his sister, obviously. But she goes through some tough times when it comes to villains and other things like that and plus who wouldn't want to be Aiden Pierce he's a total badass like you've seen here you can also do stealth attacks on enemies as well and there is also another game called the Vico Roy's that are black gang members which don't get me when I'm wrong that is not racist at all they chose that life I guess the thug life <laughs> hashtag thug life in the comments anyways in this game, at the end, I'm not going to spoil anything, but something really big happens, and a bunch of dumb crap happens, and you also get to figure out who you get to kill, who the bad guy is, and if you want to kill him or if you want to let him go. Honestly, I let him let him go. Besides killing people and hacking into things you can also go on the trains and get transported on them my and besides doing that you, there's also free roam on this game which is not on the xbox 360 and there is other features comparing this version to the xbox 360 version which is this is the xbox one version um the 360 version makes the 360 sound like it's coughing out graphics barely for your amusement. On the Xbox One it feels like nothing's going on. It's like a jock at the weightlifting room saying what's up bro do you lift. Anyways. This game has many cool ga game modes and there's also this place called Digital Trips and Digital Trips can send you into really weird psychedelic places especially the one with the flowers. It makes you feel like you're on shrooms or some kind of drug that might make you, that's called flower or something. I don't know. Uh, also, there's another mode where you could had to hide a briefcase and all that and get pursuing enemies away. And there's also online hacking, which is like, where's, it's like the adult version of Where's Waldo. Like, who would not want that? That's freaking amazing. And then also, if you play the campaign, there are going to be some parts where it's like nudie, but really, it's like barely anything. Like, there's no strip clubs, which is good, so if you are a parent that is concerned about that stuff, do not worry. Watch Dogs is the game for them. And also, this game is freaking awesome when it comes to graphics. Like, look at those graphics. Anyways, this is CMOT6464 signing out. Bye.